The first question is, what do you notice first about a girl? How can you tell if a guy isn't interested in you? Our guy is really worried about the size of their penis. Hello everybody and welcome back to the, the channel. channel. What are we doing today? Today I'm going to be asking you some would it be awkward questions or questions that girls would like to know about boys? I'm a bit, uh, well, I'm quite excited actually because there's a lot of questions here that obviously they might not apply to you. No. But like in the, the broad terms of and females. I just want to say as well, it's, it's just your opinion. Yeah. So it could be different for each different guy. Yeah. But it's what you, you would think. Yeah. So are you a bit nervous? I wouldn't say I'm nervous, I'm a, I'm a bit, I don't know, a bit apprehensive. What the question's yeah, going to be. Yeah. I might just give you an easy one to start. Just go in, go in with what you want. I'm very old fashioned. I think they know this by now. I've got my paper, <laughs> my pad. <laughs> the first question is, what do you notice first about a girl? Okay, so for me personally, it's, prob it's probably straight away the face. See, quite a lot of men, I've watched like other videos and yeah. they've been saying eyes. Eyes. Mine's like, Yours it probably is, like is. The mine's like aspect. the broad, the broad which is whole really, face. Really, which is really good of you. So I think guys just say eyes because it's like, oh, the eyes. For me, it's like the whole face. It doesn't, oh, yeah. it's like. That makes sense. So this is for like, is, are you thinking of in terms of like attractiveness or just if, if you know, if you meet someone for the first time, what's the first thing you notice? Because I, I always, yeah, if it's I think, anyone, if it's anyone, if it's a male or if it's a female, whatever, I always notice their face, face first. Because you're, yeah. always, you're, always, looking, you're, always, looking you're always looking at them. Yeah. If, if not, then you're too nervous to speak to people, I guess. Oh, yeah, I don't I know. So. I don't know. I don't know, but whenever I meet someone for the first time, it's not like, say, like I'm looking in this camera now, I'm staring into your soul pretty much. I'm, like, <laughs> talk, I'm not talking to you. But um, <laughs> it's not like I'm looking away and go, oh, yeah, hello. Are you, are you okay? You just like it's like. Is that what isn't it? makes you attracted then? Attracted to them? The face? Yeah, I'll probably yeah. It's not yeah. like it's not like just a specific thing. It's like the whole, the whole package. As whole aspect. Yeah. Whole package. Yeah. Whole. The whole aspect of it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And yours is particularly beautiful. Thank you. I have a big chin. What are guys' biggest turns turn offs? Turn offs. Yeah. So what do you not like that girls do? I guess. Uh, the thing is, I've been with you so long that a lot of your stuff doesn't bother me anymore. What was something that I used to do then? Probably when you were all over me all the time, if that makes sense. When we were younger, yeah, I really wasn't like... You didn't like it, did you? No. You didn't like it? No. No. I was a bit like, whoa. A bit too much. Yeah, but... No, it's fine because I know I know what you're like, and obviously we've been together so long that it's like you're, a bigger, it's a deeper bond. You, you've got more clingy now, haven't you? Yeah, I think that when you're first with a guy, possibly don't lay it all on. You didn't lay it all on. No. Oh, okay. I'm not saying you. Okay, sorry. I'm just giving my personal opinion. Say like take. Be Say a like a girl that's possibly around 26 years old. Yeah. <laughs> Because guy, guys like when you're talking, right? Mm. Have because that because there's time to spend with your friends, to spend with them. Yeah. Not just to go bang straight away. Into you're there. Like a relationship. Yeah. It's it, it it can make things difficult. We were quite lucky in the aspect of we got together young, didn't we? Yeah. We were at school, so we couldn't. We we, we couldn't. If we that makes sense, we couldn't spend, spend all our every time day. together. We literally saw each other either once or twice a week and that was it. Yeah, I think that helped us massively. It did, because yeah. we Can were... you imagine if we'd seen each other every day? I'd have been... Piss off. Do you care if she shaves or not? No. No, you don't? No. It's not like a big no. thing? No. I, I'm honestly not fussed. Obviously, it, obviously, I know like in different cultures, they don't, they don't no. shave. But for me, for me personally, like if you had a big old bush under your armpit, right? Mm. Then I'd say, oh, Ooh, yeah. If you get a t some people, if you if you girls would get like a tiny, tiny bit of hair, shave that. That's horrible. Shave that. What some people? But I think do. that's I think that's the I think that's the vision that pornography's given. 
Yeah, maybe. Because, yeah, that is probably true. Because everyone's literally like, oh, they're they're bald they everywhere. They have to be bald. Yeah. 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 That probably is right. Yeah. For for me, it doesn't bother me at all. No. So yeah. I I like it's being. Fine. Yeah. Grow your bush. <laughs> What is the best and worst thing about being a male? I feel like a lot of males, this is for the best thing, Yeah. are relaxed. Okay. I know there are some males that are like... <laughs> yeah, like... And, and I'm like a mixture. You are. Some things you are kind of not relaxed on, but then other things you are... It's your OCT in some ways. Yeah, I guess so. But I feel, I feel like guys in general, this is just my opinion, are more laid back, relaxed, and it's quite... A chilled out thing like you obviously when you have to be serious you have to be serious when you have when you when you have to be like not relaxed then yeah you have to be but i feel like my mind my mindset personally i'm just quite laid i'm quite laid, laid back. back you are quite laid back the worst the worst thing i'm gonna go like when you get sweaty balls. Honestly, guys that are watching, you will know, sweaty balls is horrible. It's horrible. Like, say you've been out for a run. And also, also, you know girls complain about chafing, right? If you've, if you've been out for a run, you're doing any sort of exercise and you don't have the right boxers on, chafe. Really? Honestly, so bad. Literally right down, right down the sides of the sack. Ooh. <laughs> it's like when they get sweaty, they can, obviously your boxers rub and it makes them sore, yeah. or they get stuck to like the side of your leg or to your actual penis itself. See, like women get boob sweat. Yeah. But yeah, but they're, they're, they're just they're like, like they're yeah. There. Whereas balls... <laughs> it's horrible. It is horrible. Yeah, I've, yeah. What makes a girl sexually attractive? I think a lot of it is having good uh, personality. Like, fair enough, somebody can be, somebody can be a blimmin 10 out of 10, right? And not and have and have a shite personality. Yeah. And that can just be and like, it's a just like nah. turn off. Yeah. It's like, oh well, they're a bit of a dick. I get people go out and have one night stands and stuff. Yeah. But if they want to see that person again, then they've got to get to know them. And some people are dicks. That's not just girls, some boys are dicks. Like I'm doing it for either side here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, everyone yeah. is Everyone has their own thing. You could potentially be, say, I don't know, uh, let's just say a one out of ten, right? Someone's, someone's, someone's not the best looking. Okay. Okay. But they have like an amazing ten out of ten personality. Mm. I'm pretty sure there will always be someone that wants to have sex with you. But you are a ten out of ten, and for looks, and a ten out of ten for personality. Thank you. I saved myself. <laughs> What do you prefer, makeup or no makeup? Uh, I've always been a no, makeup no makeup person. You don't, you like how I put, I, I'm not like a massive no, makeup no. person anyway. Like, I, my makeup consists of a, a slivery layer of yeah. foundation and some da 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 da. <laughs> like to, a lot of people wear a lot of makeup because of insecurities as well. Yeah. And not, that, that's not for everyone. Some people like wearing makeup yeah. for themselves. Yeah. Um, sometimes it is nice for people wear makeup because it enhances their features. Yeah. So if people do that, it's nice. But then there's people that just go overboard hmm. for just like a day-to-day -day look. For, for me, I go no makeup, but hmm. there would be other guys that would be like, yeah, makeup, makeup, makeup all the time. Because there's some people that are in a relationship and the female wakes up and puts makeup on and they've never, and the, no, the, the guy's never, never seen, seen them, them without makeup. God. How can you tell if a guy isn't interested in you? Just read the signs. What are the signs? There's though? always like some there's... people don't realise what the signs are. If they're blowing you off all the time to spend time with their friends, they're mm. not into you. If they're with you all the time, they're too into you. Right. And then that's uh, then I'd probably say that's like a warning sign. Like controlling. Yeah. If a guy really likes a girl, then they would message her back straight away. And yeah. Things like that. Yeah. I mean, look for how they're talking to you, how they their talk to you, language. yeah, how they talk to you around their friends as well is a massive thing, and and how they speak about you to their friends. Obviously that's that's gonna be hard for you to Tonight. to know, but I, you will obviously find out eventually. Yeah. 
If they're into it, I think you know. You, yeah. It's like a, deep, a feeling deep down, I think like. If they're not giving you the signs of, like, wanting to spend time with you, then they're probably not into you. No. Because guys aren't complicated. No, they're quite easy. They're just they're pretty straightforward, and they wouldn't be doing like the hard to get thing. If they liked you, they would. They show you. They would show you. Yeah. Are guys really worried about the size of their penis? Yes. Are they? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Every every that. single person because of again we'll go back to we'll go back to porn, like porn. Everyone has a massive penis, or or if not, it's in a category called small penis. Is it? <laughs> it is a big insecurity for for a lot of people. If obviously if you don't care, then you don't care. But was you worried when you were younger or not? Yeah, everyone's every, everyone starts off being worried, and then I think you learn to deal with it. But some people never really learn to deal with it. They just they just stay insecure about it because yeah, so many so many girls have probably had so many different varieties. People are like, oh, is is mine good? Is mine okay? Blah 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 blah. Do guys talk about girls and their relationships when they're like together? Yeah. So do they like? Is it like, oh my god, she's like amazing, or, or is it like? No. So I imagine girls' conversations to be like. Oh my god, he did this. Oh, he got me some flowers and some chocolate, and and it was so cute and beautiful. And then and then all the friends are like, oh, he's so cute. We need to find people like him. That's what I imagine it to be like, right? Yeah. In that, that's in like an exaggerated format, yeah. but something like that. Whereas guys, a lot of it is like it's just banter flying. Right. Okay. You do have you do have serious conversations. You're like, oh, how are they? Oh, good. That's that's fantastic. And then that's it. Like, and then and then. Um, you do okay. joke around, you, like guys do joke around about um, like sexual stuff, even if it's yeah. not true, even if it's, even if a lot of it's not true. Like what, what, not true? Well, well, like for example, last night when I was on the PlayStation yeah. and you were, you were laying on me and I was playing yeah. um, and you made a funny noise, they, but both my, both Liam and Nick, what are you doing? they were like, what's going on there? What, what are you doing? <laughs> A lot of the time, guy friends tell their other guy friends that they don't like them. Really? Yeah. Wow. Have you ever done that with any of your friends' girlfriends or not? No, because I've never, I never really disliked them until they've done something. until they've done something. Yeah. Because mm. a lot, because a lot of the time it's hard because some girls put on a front when they meet other when people. When they meet other people. So it's hard to like gauge what they're like. It was a bit different with us though because I knew them like your best friends in school anyway, because we went to school together. Yeah. So I sat next to Nick in England. Yeah, so that's like the that. thing. You had time to get to know Nick as a friend as well. So you, yeah. so it's not it's not just like you're meeting my friends for the first time. No. You were already friendly with them. In some ways, we've had it well easy. We haven't Because really. we haven't had to have, deal with like the stresses of like crazy exes no. or, or no, um, big old breakups or whatever. No. So the only thing you had in school was like loads of girlfriends, but yeah, but they're they, they're they, not. They weren't serious. No. Does weight matter? Weight mm. what, in terms of what like, girls? A girl's weight depends what you like. Yeah. Everyone likes something different, and there's someone out there for everyone. Yeah. Like, ev everyone, everyone has a different, preference. different preferences. So a lot of the a lot of the questions are about preferences. Preference, yeah. Because there are people out there for everyone. Someone that likes makeup, someone, or so, someone, that some, someone that doesn't like makeup, someone that likes bigger girls, someone that likes skinnier girls, someone that likes normal girl, like normal, in, normal in terms of, you know, what the culture is. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's someone for everyone, and that's that. That is what it is. Has, has this provided a good insight? For me, yeah. yeah. I, I didn't realise like guys actually like spoke about their relationships and things. Thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment down below, and turn the notifications on. We'll see you in the, in the next, next video. video. Bye. Bye.